Good day, everyone! Are you ready to learn something new today? Good! A warm welcome to everybody! I am Francesca Loisa Fuga, your report for today's meeting. I have here a game. Do you want to play a game? Wow! I'm happy to hear that! This game is entitled Zoom In Game, wherein you're going to guess the Zoom In picture. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1 What is your answer? Correct! The answer is Newspaper Let's proceed to another zoom-in picture. Can you guess it? Excellent! These are flashcards. Another one? Try to guess it. What is your answer? Wow! You're great! It's a camera. Did you enjoy that game? That's good to hear. Today, we will talk about types of pictorial media. In this lesson, you are expected to Identify the types of pictorial media Explain the use of each type of pictorial media Give the importance of pictorial media First type of pictorial media are Flat pictures or they can be called still pictures. Flat pictures are representation of objects or things on a flat surface. These are two-dimensional aids, photographic or photographic light. Teachers and students can gather pictures from magazine, newspapers, advertisements, pamphlets, posters, circulars, and other things. This can help illustrate and teach a specific lesson topics, help learners recall information and visually explain information that would be difficult to convey using verbal or written terms. In using this type of media, we have some guidelines to be followed. Pictures must be clearly seen by everyone. Students, pupils must be given a chance to point out what they think are important aspects of the picture. The teacher must supplement pupils' comments to make sure that nothing has been omitted. Teacher and pupils should discuss together what they find in the picture. The picture used in the class should be lead to accumulate of related pictures in the textbook. If the picture used in class steers the pupils to attempt at illustrating their own, it is good evidence that a sound use has been made of them. Pictures ought to supply incentives for the use of auxiliary aids like motion pictures, film trips, and others. Picture ought to promote supplementary reading. Did you get it? In reading pictures, we read pictures in the same way that we read a page of word. We derive the message from the medium by attaching meaning to it. A picture can be read in four levels as follows. Enumerate level, descriptive level, interpretive level, an integrative level. In numerate level, this level merely calls for the giving of what one sees in the picture. For example, flower, ball, dog, house, boy, girl, trees, and etc. Those are the things that we can see in that picture. Number two, descriptive level. Giving a sentence on what is seen or how one sees in the picture looks like, for example, I see a big yellow house. The ball is red. Number three, interpretative level. 
giving more meaningful sentences which are of inference type. For example, Tom is playing with his dog. Anna wearing her favorite dress. Number four, integrative level. This is relating what one sees in the picture to life. For example, I play ball with my dogs on Sundays. Okay, what are the four levels that we can use in reading pictures? Enumerate level, descriptive level, interpretative level, and integrative right. level. Reading pictures can be most rewarding if the students' pupils are given guides as to what to see and how to see things in the picture. They must be guided to interpret and to draw inferences about what they see. Pictures must not be merely displayed. They should be read and talked about. That is why it is necessary that the teacher should choose those which are related and relevant to children's interest, experiences, and maturity. This is to encourage thoughtful seeing and discourse. Now, let us move on to the second type of pictorial media, which are the photographs. Photographs are also still pictures which can be mounted or unmounted. They appear in black and white or in full color. As you can see, these are examples of photographs. Photographs, in the choice of photographs, teachers should choose those that suggest motion or candid shots as they are more interesting and lifelike. The third type of pictorial media are illustrations. These are non-photographic reconstruction or representation of reality. Etched or drawn by an illustrator, the teacher, or the students or learners themselves. Illustrations can be in black and white or in full color. They can be prepared ahead of time or the teacher can draw them on the blackboard while the class is going on. These are examples of illustrations. The fourth type of pictorial media are flashcards. They are valuable materials for drill activities, particularly in teaching of mathematics, English, and Filipino. These are examples of flashcards. We can use also flashcards come in the form of word cards, phrase cards, sentence cards, and mathematical combination cards and picture cards. The flashcards must be bold and big enough to be seen by everybody. Flash the cards in a fast or snappy manner to develop fast thinking or response. This will be enabled the pupils to automatize response. Flash the cards from back to front. Write the answer at the back of each flashcard so that as you flash, you can see the answer and thus you will be able to check if the response of the pupils is correct or not. Hold the flashcards firmly at your chest level. Take care not to hide the words. So we're done. To make sure that you understand my report, let us have an activity. Here, you have to identify the types of pictorial media. Again, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Number one, blank are also still pictures, which can be mounted or unmounted. They appear in black and white or in full color. What is your answer? Good, the answer is, Photographs. Two, blank. Teachers and students can gather pictures from magazines, newspapers, advertisements, pamphlets, posters, circulars, and other things. You're right. The answer is flat pictures. Number three, blank can be in black and white or in full color. They can be prepared ahead of time 
or the teacher can draw them on the chalkboard while the class is going on. Excellent! The answer illustrations. Number four. Blank comes in the form of word cards, phrase cards, sentence cards, mathematical combination cards, and picture cards. Wow! That's great! The answer is flashcards. Wow! Congratulations! You got the perfect score. So, you really listen and understand my report. Another question. What is the importance why do we need to use pictorial media? One of the importance of pictorial media is we use it to enhance teaching and learning complements traditional approaches to learning and effective instruction building bridges between student knowledge and learning objectives of the course. That's all for today. Let's give ourselves a one big clap. Again, I hope you enjoy and learn many things in my discussion. Goodbye and be safe.